Hey guys, I'm Vignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. So in today's video, we are going to see one of the important topic called peak collection in Apache Beam. So before continuing further, I just wanted to inform you that I'm planning to create a playlist a to Z playlist covering all the features of Apache Beam using Python SDK and I'll show you how to construct both streaming as well as batch data processing pipelines using Apache Beam and also I'll implement um, all these things in an, in, an, um, in a Google Cloud platform called uh, Cloud Dataflow one of the important service for uh, uh, for constructing data engineering pipelines so uh, this is what I'll be covering in this playlist. So without so please uh, Support me on this. So without any further delay, let's get started with today's video So what is peak collection a peak collection is a data set or a data stream? The data that a pipeline process is a part of peak collection. So a peak collection is a data set this data set refers batch processing and this data stream refers streaming data from uh, Cloud Google PubSub or uh, Apache Kafka or other streaming pipelines. So it is an abstraction represents a potentially distributed multi element data set. So what does that mean? So you can think of peak collection as a pipeline. So beam transforms beam transforms using peak collection objects as an input and then outputs object outputs also. So beam uses peak collections to make any transformations to do any pre processing to write to uh, particular uh, location or to read data from the particular location uh, beam uses peak collection to do all the all these things so if you want to work with data in your pipeline in beam pipeline it must be in the form of peak collection now we will see what are the important features of peak collection so peak collection is immutable if you create a, if you create a peak collection basically you can't uh, make any modify to it if you wanted to make any modify basically you have to create a new peak collection and then do the, do all the changes to that peak collection you can't uh, change once a peak collection is created so the next thing is element type so the peak collection may may contain a, like different element types like boolean int in a <coughs> string float all those things but it all, all must be of the same type then ln element schema so the element type in peak collection as a structure as a structure that has been introspected like example for JSON or protocol buffer Avro and database records so this schema provides a way to express uh, a type as a set of name fields allowing more aggressive aggregations more expressive aggregations so what does this mean is uh, as I said earlier no like in element type the element in the P collection might be of any type so it may be of any type if we wanted to make a particular change to a particular uh, particular data type like uh, uh, int or string or integer you wanted to use the schema and you can make more expressive aggregate functions on that so then we are coming back to operation type so p collection does not support any grained operations if you see in this so basically this is my p collection i can't perform a specific operation to this first column and i cannot perform a specific column uh, specific function on that specific function like any aggregation function to the second column or third column so this is not possible in P collection in Apache Beam. Then the timestamps. Each element in the P collection will be associated with the timestamp. So we'll now see how to create a P collection. So P collection can be created in two ways in Apache Beam. One is to read data from any external sources like BigQuery, uh, uh, data store, or a, from Google Cloud Bucket or so any other sources. Or you can create P collection in in-memory collection class in our driver program so <coughs> excuse me so <coughs> yeah, yeah. so give me that yeah so the former uh, this is reading data from external resources is how a production pipeline will actually work and the second the later part is to debug our pipeline or to debug our p collection no we'll be using this so we this are the two ways we can create a p collection in apache beam using python and the next thing is unbounded p collection it means um, unbounded p collection represents a data set of unlimited size so if it you can assume this as a streaming data so it doesn't have any size and uh, it 
<clears throat> it doesn't have any upper limit or it doesn't have any uh, a fixed memory size it can be creep on growing so source that source will assign the timestamps to that p collection data and the next is bounded p collection a bounded p collection represents a data set of a known size like if you wanted to process a data pipeline a batch pipe data batch pipeline for weekly monthly so all this will come under this bounded p collection and every element is set to same timestamp like every element in that p collection will set to the same same timestamp so you can't randomly access any p collection data so that is not possible in p collection and p transform if you wanted to make any transformation to uh, data in the p collection you will be have to use this uh, p transform functions like map group by flat map power do filter flatten combine and there are many more so you, in this example we'll be using filter uh, we'll be using filter and p collection characteristics so if a p collection is owned by a specific pipeline we can't use that p collection and give it to another other pipeline so multiple pipelines cannot share a single p collection so if you wanted to learn more about what is p collection you can basically take uh, read it from here i have given the resource links here so now you want like now we'll be moving into how to practically implement a p collection in apache beam using python sdk so if you wanted to install uh, apache beam you can take this command pip3 install apache beam so i have already installed and now i am importing apache beam as beam so apache beam is the library so i am importing all this in the form of beam uh, like in uh, as beam so now i am creating a pipeline so p collection will be uh, apache beam will work in the form of pipeline so now i am creating p1.beam.pipeline so this is my pipeline p1 so i'm reading data from the text so this text is already present in my directory it is not present so i'll upload that uh, grocery dot text i'll upload that So I'll show you what does that grocery text does. So if you see item identifier, I'll expand it like item identifier, item weight, item fat. So it is something related to <coughs> uh, grocery data. So I'm having here. Where is the data I uploaded it but I didn't see here so we will see running this command what is the yeah give me a moment I'll I'll look into so I have impl imported a Apache beam as beam and I've created a pipeline and I'm reading the reading the data from this sample so the whatever the data it is present here um, it oh, it will be uh, assigned to, <coughs> to this p collection grocery so the, it is not mandatory to this to be a simple text file it can be a directory or it can be a gcs bucket location or it can be a big query it can be anything basically i'm using this skip header lines one like i'm skipping this first line I'm skipping this first line like this is my column name so I'm skipping this so read data from there and I'm beam like I'm using this to split all the records like this record splitting it using comma and then I'm filtering this record too so basically if you see what is my record to item identifier item weight item fat content so item fat content as low fat regular and again do you see any other thing present here <clears throat> so i can't see like i can see only regular and low fat so i'm fil using this filter condition to filter my record uh, in the form of in like in regular I'm, I'm basically filtering it to regular and i'm writing to back to the text to this location itself in the form of regular underscore filter dot txt and i'm using this command to run my pipeline p1 so basically i'm trying to run it so it ran and we will see the result now so i'll take this 
and I'm viewing it here so basically it has the records only related to regular so this is this data is basically I am creating a P collection uh, by reading the by reading data from an external source this is external source from external source like read from text now I am creating the data <clears throat> I am creating the data using a, a P collection of data stored in memory collection class in your driver program so if you see I am creating an uh, in I am creating my data on like it is just a string of questions like to be or not to be basically I took this example from the official documentation and I'm right I'm uh, creating this data if you see lines so I'm creating this and uh, No attribute, sorry, this is an entire P collection. So I'm creating this uh, P collection. Don't like there is no need of <coughs> you need, like <coughs> I'm creating this pipeline beam using beam.create. I'm creating this pipeline. I'm creating this pipeline and then <coughs> you can write it to text or you can write it to anywhere, like you can filter any condition. So this is how you will be creating a uh, P collections using read from source any particular source or you can create it of own this is will be used mainly for debugging purpose and this will be used in the production pipeline so this is all about uh, uh, P collections in Apache beam I hope you learned something new from this video and I believe this video is informative to you in some way so if you have any questions and if you have any doubts, please uh, <coughs> drop that in comment section. I'll try to reply to it. And please like, do comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics. Don't forget to <coughs> click the bell icon. Uh, I'll, I'll see <coughs> on the next video. Uh, until then, it's bye from Ignesh. Take care.